what is up guys welcome back to another vlog super cold got the ice still outside the snow slash ice and it's just, it's just so cold here it's just it's just bad today I got some stuff to do um, if you saw me pull off this little radiator hose um, this is actually a coolant hose that holds coolant around the oil cooler which keeps the oil cooler so I gotta go get that replaced um, I'm gonna go try park rose and then at the same time I'm gonna go get some gloves cuz I don't want dirty hands today and um, yeah so uh, another thing I want to do is get the radiator on, get the radiator fans on, get that all bolted up, maybe put some water through it and then see how it goes. I got some great news for you guys. Um, I know in the last video I asked you guys if I wanted stickers, so yes, I'm going to come out with stickers. That's going to be sick, should be good. Um, I want to get some made soon. Um, probably in the next video I'll have them made and everything. I'm going to be ready to put them out. Another thing that's super freaking stoked about the Red Z, I'm keeping it. And I got a super, super good deal. I know I say super so much, but this is a super good deal. Getting the tube front done by Level Ride Concepts, at first they were, you know, um, didn't kind of want to do it because it was a little, a uh, pretty big project from the strut tower back, um, but he just wasn't replying because he was a little busy. Uh, he just got the quote to me the other day, and it's perfectly in my budget. So the date for that is March 23rd. I will be calling AAA, getting the Red Z towed there, and I don't know how long the tube front's going to take, but on the receipt it said up to a month. So let's just say it takes a month and um, the tube front's not done for a month. At least I still have this cool bluesy to drive around and it's got the welded diff in it. So I'm going to be able to hit the vents in between and it's going to be lit. I'm super stoked I'm keeping the Red Z. I really wanted to keep the Red Z. Uh, without your guys' help, you know, I probably wouldn't be. I probably would have sold it or parted it out. But since I made that video and asked you guys what you guys wanted, uh, a lot of you guys, probably about 80% of you guys said the Red Z. So Red Z's stand. So that means to this Z, I don't know. Um, until I get the Red Z fully running mint and you know drivable not on the street but on the track full time then I will sell this car. So let's get the park rose because the car's warmed up by now. We got the goodies, got the mechanics 999 gloves, we got this little uh, coolant hose that's probably not as long as this but it's all they had so I just got it. Alright so we got this rinky dink hose. Alright, so I kind of got the radiator and fans mocked up how I kind of want it. So right now I'm going to actually switch over to the intake and get the intake all bolted on exactly how it should be. Alright, so we got the radiator on, radiator fans, and the whole intake bolted up. Um, I'm just missing a couple clamps here and there, so I'm not going to start it today. Uh, I also got the fender sit on. It looks pretty good. Can't wait to see when this thing's done. I'm super stoked that I'm keeping it. For a long time I wasn't going to keep it. I was going to part it out, sell it, project car it until it's worthy enough to sell. But now I'm going to keep it and I'm going to finish it. Thanks to you guys. So smash that subscribe button just because I said so. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about is that uh, it's going to be hard for me to kind of post videos in the next couple weeks. Um, my plan is actually I'm trying to buy a house. I'm trying to get out of this place. Have my own stuff. Uh, have my own garage and not worry about um, taking up other people's property. So. This is good. I like the way this is going. I'm going to get this fully run in mint uh, before I move out. And then um, I'll be buying a house and it's going to be crazy. Um, I'm going to buy a house with land farther up the I-5 and um, I'm going to be doing a bunch of stuff. So you can call me Jonah Atwood from now on because I'm going to be doing crazy stuff. Uh, my plan is to just have, you know, hella cars, uh, surplus amount of cars that I'll be partying out, making money off of, flipping, doing some other stuff. But my main goal is YouTubing right now. I want to get as much content out for you guys, but I need you guys to realize that I'm trying to buy a house right now, so the funds are limited. Still going to get this done before I move out, uh, so don't worry about that. But um, Bluesy might have to go after I get this one finished. Um, I, still have, I still can drive the Subaru around, so it's not a big deal. But. That's pretty much it for today. So as we come onto the interior, a lot of you guys probably don't know, I don't show a lot of the interior, but since I'm gonna keep it, I might as well get in depth. Um, door handle's broken, so I keep the window down so I can unlock it. Come in here, airbags deployed, obviously. Uh, it's got some glass from the headlight because the guys from Copart um, just threw the broken headlight in there. I just threw it away. Uh, it's got like the fender liner and some other cubby plastics back there. Uh, back here all stock all clean 
Uh, the switches are, uh, I found out from the previous owner, one of the switches is for the interior lights. He didn't know what the other two were for. Um, obviously this car doesn't have heated seats, but that's where the heated seats things is in the Grand Touring, I believe. This is covered up with stickers. This doesn't even pull out. Oh, oh. that whole thing came out. So after the tube front, um, all I need to do is just get a hood, uh, one passenger side headlight, bumper, and then this thing should be good. Um, after I get the tube front, obviously I'm gonna have to see how messed up the suspension underneath is. Uh, the coilovers are good enough to ride on, but the arms back here are probably all bent. Uh, probably gonna have to replace them all. We'll see. So like I was saying in the last couple videos, um, this car does have 151,000 miles, so it's almost triple the amount of miles that the blue ones has. But um, what I was gonna say is that this motor is most likely gonna curb plop on me. Um, car plot mean and rod knock just has so many miles and you know like with that many miles you can't really expect it to hold down with bash and limiter because that's what I'm gonna do bang the limiter the whole track I had to post a video for you guys um, I'm gonna try to clean out the interior I know you guys don't want to see that but I think that's gonna be it for today guys so stickers coming soon 1J in this thing coming soon uh, gonna try to hit a couple days in the track in this thing before it blows but we'll see all right peace out